to your audience, you know. Again, thank you for being here. I know you're super busy or we're running multiple businesses. So, you know, you always have a big smile on your face. So it's it's always a, a positive a energy boost when I see you. So welcome everyone to the Power Half Hour. Every single week, Wednesday at 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, we have a top producer in real estate um, who's going to come and inspire us. And today, um, super special guest, super excited about our guest today um, from EXP Houston. Um, Hoi uh, has been in real estate for the past four years. I think you were full time uh, for the past four years. Yeah. And then uh, you run uh, multiple businesses. And we met two years ago at EXP Con. Uh -huh. And man, just uh, a ball of energy ever since I, I, I could feel your energy from afar and uh, just pleasure to have you here. So welcome, Hoi Nguyen. Man, I'm so glad to, to be here, you know, and talk to you, John. You know, you, you, you are the aspiration for the whole company. Everybody look up to you in the company. You have no idea. Oh, no, really? <laughs> well, thanks for the kind words. Man, I can't wait to go back. <laughs> top like what top 0.05 percent influencer in a company dude that is not <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank that. you well you know we're all on our way we're working hard and man um tell us a bit more about yourself how, how did you get started in real estate well yeah so to make a um so to come back to like a very very beginning you know like um when, when i first get my job you know like it's a job right super excited like hey you know I got offered a job, you know, it paid me like what, 30 grand a month. Uh, I mean, 30 grand uh, a year back then, you know, uh, when I first, you know, in college, almost get out of college, I was super excited. Okay, 30 grand a month. So I get my, you know, I get my calculator. Let me see, 30 grand a month, uh, 30 grand a year divided by 12 is how much? I make 2,500 bucks, right? A month. Right. I was yeah. super excited. And, and you know what happened? I get my paycheck. It's not 2,500 bucks. <laughs> the tax, you know, the, you know, I hate to say it, but the government, the tax, whoever it is, I have no idea. They take almost half of my paycheck. Oh like, man. Oh, how is this? You know, like I, I worked so hard and then, you know, like before I could get my money, somebody just took it away, you know? And for me, it just doesn't make sense. You know, I, I, I couldn't wrap my, my head around it. So I just start looking around and of, and of course, when you start looking around for stuff like that, you're going to end up, you know, running into real estate investment. You know, there's no, no way to get around it. Mm. So did you find real estate um, by studying about real estate investing first? Exactly. Or did you, uh, okay, okay. So the goal is to actually, you know, so your, your name on social media is the cash flow agent, which I think is very interesting. So mm -hmm. I guess you started out by finding that, finding out that you want to go into real estate investing, and yeah. then you came into real estate as a, mm -hmm. as a realtor. There you go. So, so anything Gosh. that I do, you know, I, I um, you know, I, I would say any house that I buy or anything that I do, I, I wouldn't do it myself. Uh, I wouldn't, if, if I do for, if I tell you to do something, if I tell you to do something, I need to do it first. If I tell you, mm. if I tell my group to do agent attraction, call this guy, text this guy, I am the one who need to do it first, you know, because if you don't eat your own food first, if you will, and then you, 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 you're not leading by example. Ah, I love that. Leading yeah. by example. Okay. Exactly. Leading by example. Yeah. Don't, you know, leader, we don't say go. Leader, we say let's go. We do it together with our group, with our people. Leader, we don't say go, go do it. We say let's go. go. Let's go do let's, it together. Let's go do it together. Let's I love that, man. You you yeah. you are uh, becoming such a great leader. I, I see your growth. Like every single month you are growing and you're becoming even more positive, bigger personality every time I see you. So uh, again, congratulations. And you also hit icon, right? Yeah, yeah. So two time I, uh, two time icon now. Um, you can explain to everybody what icon mean. But I'm working, you know, just like anybody. I'm working really hard on my production side, and my goal. I think I'm eight deal away from hitting icon again for the third years. Wow. And and you know Great what job. I mean for us, you know, for for EXP Asian, you know, we don't get the certificate for the job well done, you know, but we get equity in the company. Yeah, we get stocks back, but we'll talk about that. But um. Man, t tell us, because, um, you know, you and I, uh, we were both immigrants and, mm -hmm. you know, you came here about 14 years ago. Um, any struggles in the very beginning coming over here, not even speaking a word of English? Uh, well, so I, um, like, like I told you before this call, you know, I, I actually, you know, my, I, uh, I, I, I don't have a rough, like super tough story like anybody else, <laughs> you know, my, 
my mom and my dad just flew me here on the airplane. They put me in no the boats. <laughs> yeah. No boats. Yep. Yep. So I, I got um. So so that was you know quite you know I would say not as struggle as other people you know but just just like you know how how do I say this just like anything you 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 do in life you know at one point you know you're gonna hit a wall right mm -hmm. so so for me that wall uh, I guess uh, yeah so for, so for me that was is is when I uh, I have to make a decision you know whenever I I have to keep climbing the corporate ladder if you will mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Or I have to take a leap of faith, you know, and jump to do real estate full time. And trust me, that was a super stressful decision, because back then, you know, uh, my wife just get laid off from from her job. She doesn't. Mm. Know. She's not a, like a queen of flipping right now. You know, she 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 got nothing to do with flipping back then. I'm the only person who provide income for the family, if you will. Yeah. So wow. for me to quit my job to leave all the health benefit, you know, to to forgive like all my like formal education, if you will, you know. Yeah. As an, as a coder, as a computer science, that, that was a scary decision. But, you know, I, I look around, you know, um, I, I look at other people ahead of me and, you know, especially, you know, my, my, my sponsor, Jeff and Amanda in EXP. And, and I told myself, you know, if, if I keep going the corporate ladder, I, mm. I, I could never, you know, I, my, my chance of being successful is 0%. But right. if I jump now, if I jump now, if I go to do something different, and maybe I have one percent, you know, of, of of you know, of become a better person, or I'm, I mean, I don't know, like more income, if you will. So I took that one percent, you know, that that's all. Yeah. I, mean. I can get one percent, you know, of become a successful millionaire, whatever, and then I take the chance rather and rather than you know having a zero chance of doing it. Okay, I, I want to circle back to that a little bit. So climbing the corporate ladder was zero percent, and then you thought that real estate becoming successful was one percent, <laughs> guys. 1% chance and he took the leap. Took if you guys leap. have had, um, you know, a previous career and it was safe, you know, what percentage did you think it was going to be that you would succeed? Hui had thought it was 1% that he will succeed and he took the leap. Yeah. Right. That's how positive you are. <laughs> I, I, mean, I think everybody can relate, right? Everybody, you know, before I started real estate, I, I sold jeans and it, it was a very, consistent income, you know, $24,000 a year back when I was 23 years old was actually pretty good, you know, but to jump is like, okay, well, you know, now what? That's now crazy. it's like you're on your own, right? Yeah. So I think it's hard, you know, but I didn't know it's going to be that hard, you know, like <laughs> I got right now, you know, uh, you know, I'm icon and all, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty, you know, it's, it's pretty, I would say quote unquote easy now, but man, four years ago, my first year as a realtor, it was rough, man. It was rougher than I thought, you know, but just, just how, how did you get through that? Um, you know, in your first year, how many transactions did you do? Um, I, I probably, after I quit my job, probably like eight or nine. That's it. That's, yeah. that's a lot of deals for a first year agent. Um, yeah, what about yeah. income? Cause you, you guys, um, you know, are, are a little bit uh, lower in price point, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I would so say, how, yeah, go ahead. How much, how much income would you make from eight to nine transactions in your first year? Um, I would say about half of what I make at Slumber J back then, you know, oh. the company at Slumber J. So I make like a, like a hundred grand at Slumber J, right? You know, when I come over, my income got cut in half, you know? Okay. You know, okay. I, I guess I have to prepare, you know, we, we haven't talked about it yet, you know, but I, back then I have rental, you know, I start as a real estate investor. Yeah. So at least I have my rental to back me up, you know? Uh. During, um, yeah. And, you know, we try to do flip, you know, now Airbnb and stuff like that. But, um, but I will say the lesson that I learned, you know, um, it doesn't matter how, how, how tough it get. Um, I, I try to stay close with the people, you know, that, that, that I want to become. So back, you know, so still now, you know, I, I, hang out, I hang out a lot with Jeff and Amanda, you know, because I think I believe that prox proximity matter. Yeah. Even though you and me is, is further, you know, we, we are like, you know, in two different country. I, I don't know if you feel it, you know, but I try my best to hang out with you, John, because if I can, can, can just be like a piece of John, you know, I'm going to be fine. You know? So I, I, I try to hang out with John as much as I can. Thank Let me you. know when you're free and I fly to Canada and hang out with you. That, that's, oh, dude, you know, that's, we that's welcome I, you. We <laughs> welcome you. Um, so, so you obviously uh, have gone through some tough times when you first started. 
and you just kept moving. Um, how do you stay so positive when you have a bad day, Hoi? Uh, I, I would say talk to, um, hmm, that's a good question because I even struggle with that myself, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, say, um, I would say talk to, you know, talk to you, you know, talk to the people who, who's ahead of you. Um, and, um, you know, keep, um, you know, I would say stay focused, you know, whenever you stay. I actually have my notebook with here, with me right here. Um, just like you, you know, I, I wrote my goal down every morning, right? Oh, wow. So whenever things get tough, you know, I just look at my list like, hey, you know, these, don't, don't lose focus, you know, focus on the thing that matter. You know, just forget whatever happened, what matters now, be present, you know, what can you control now, you know, go ahead and do it and, and turn the day from a lose into a win. Wow. Just focus uh, on the positive side of things. Focus on what you want instead of not what, instead of what you don't want. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. And, okay. Uh, okay. So, so in a, in a negative situation, negative circumstance, you always focus on what's good. Mm -hmm. Right. So and, it's, it's got a lot to do with, with, uh, with the people that you surround yourself with, you know, so uh, when my group is down, I cheer them up, you know, I, I help them. I, I go out my way for them. And then when I'm down, you know, I got, you know, good friend like you or the people in, in my revenue share group, you know, they cheer me up, you know, they pull me up, you know, so we, we are just paving it forward, if you will. So I, I always helping people. And I noticed that, you know, when I need some help, you know, I, I noticed that, you know, people help me as well. So, so that really helped. And I'm, I'm really, yeah, grateful. I think uh, it's important guys, when you are down, you, you reach up. Yeah, you reach up and someone will help you. And when you're up, you know what you, you're looking at somebody and you got to reach down. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, and I, I just read this uh, a couple of days ago and it's all about um, learn, earn and return. So yeah. it's like learning, you're reaching up, earning, you know, you take care of yourself and then returning, you're, you're reaching down to pull people up. Yeah. And I think as you pull people up, you're, you're even more positive yourself. Exactly. Right? Have you, the, the more, the more a, a bigger leader you become, um, you're actually, you, you practice that every single day so you can influence your group, right? Yeah, and, and um, it, uh, I, I'm gonna say this before I forget, you know, this is coming from Cabo, the, the conference that I just went mm -hmm. back. I forgot who said it, you know, it, it might be your, your buddy, Vincent Koo. I forgot who said it, but you know, the rest, <laughs> Your, your red share check is just a reflection of the value that you provide to your people. That's it. There's nothing else more than that. Ooh. Yeah. Think well, that it. same goes, same goes to the commissions that you earn, right? Exactly. From being a real estate salesperson, exactly. your level of your income is correlated to the level of service that you provide to the people that you provide the service to. That's it. Right. That's so, so think about your level of service, your level of communication, your level of your systems, are you providing a high level of service? If you are not, where can you seek to improve? You know, where's the opportunity in your business, right? Yeah. So we're constantly looking for that. Okay. Um, but tell, tell me more about, um, cause, so right now you run four businesses. Tell us more about that. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's just um, uh, go over that a little bit. So of course, you know that, um, you know, I'm a big fan of EXP. You know, we have a production side and we have the, red, uh, the Asian attraction side within EXP. You know, so that is like my biggest thing right now. You know, I would say 100% of my attention is on it. Nice. Beside that, you know, we also own rental. You know, I have been an investor for, you know, I guess ever since, you know, I saw somebody took half of my paycheck. I know that I need to invest <laughs> in real estate. So I've been an investor for, you know, uh, I guess um, for almost 10 years now. Wow. And then, you know, um, and then long story short, you know, um, we, um, me, my wife, and then another, another partner, her name is Elva, you know, we, um, we started a, a fix and flip uh, business and it has been going really well in Houston. Mm. Yeah. And then actually, you know, I, I don't know if I can show you, I'm actually standing in my Airbnb right now, you know, wow. so I use it as my office on the first floor and then the, and then the top floor, I rented out a room for $50 a, 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 a day for my Airbnb. Wow. So you even started uh, investing way before you became a realtor, like six years before you became a full-time realtor. Yeah. 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 And, oh, wow. and the whole reason that I become a realtor is that, you know, I want to share this opportunity of, you know, investing in real estate, you know, to, to other people. Wow. Because I, I believe the best thing that you can buy right now, John, is cash flow positive real estate. 
trust me, your money is losing value as fast as you <laughs> as fast as you can hold it. Okay, if if you don't have something like especially real estate that hold value and produce income, you know your your wealth if you will is gonna erode. And you know next time you notice, you know you're gonna be saving for nothing. You know you save a hundred dollar, and five years later your hundred dollar is gonna become a penny. Okay, trust mm -hmm. me. Yeah. That's yeah, me. yeah, yeah, guys. Um, put away our money, especially realtors. We gotta put put away our money, pay ourselves first. Mm -hmm. Go and invest in properties. Yeah. If you keep it in cash, it's just it's just not smart. Um, so, Hoi, do, doing so many things, how are you balancing your time um, with all this? Because I, I know Jack is like on the same trajectory as you, Jack Sai, mm -hmm. and, you know, he's doing, <laughs> hey, Jack, he's doing all this stuff. And uh, man, he's working seven days a week. How are you, you how are you balancing all this? Um, well, I, I probably need to need your advice on this because I struggle with this myself, but uh <laughs> But I would say, you know, I, I, I always tell um, my, my, I always tell my group, you know, especially my revenue share group, I have time for important thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you have something important, if you have an agent that you're trying to get onto the company, you know, I have time for you. I have time for important thing. It doesn't matter. You know, I can shift things around. I can make it happen. You know, so I would say prior, prioritize your task. Mm. Yeah. So I would say, you know, um, um, I would say, you know, Sunday, you know, it's like uh, family time, me time, right? So I block all my Sunday. I, I spend most of the time for me playing tennis, hang out with family, you know, hang out with friends. And then, you know, maybe Monday is production. You know, it's all about, you know, production, buy and sell real estate. Yeah. Um, nothing else more than that. And then Tuesday is my Asian attraction day. You know, Tuesday. Oh. Yeah. Tuesday, you know, the whole morning I hang around with my leader. I hang around with Jeff and Amanda. You know, I, I you, you use Calendly, right? So Tuesday, I leave my schedule open and anybody can book, you know, a time with me re regarding um, um, agent attraction. Oh, that's awesome. Jack, are you getting something from this? Because I am, right? Because um, every single day, actually, I, I structure it differently. But um, it's interesting to say uh, Monday is production day, Tuesday is agent attraction. What's, what about, and, and family day is Sunday, so untouchable. Yeah. That's with family. Yeah. So what about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? What do you do there? Um, mostly production, you know, um, because um, like like my rental, I have my property manager um, handle it. Oh, okay. So so let me back out a little bit. You know, having a good team, you know, just like you, mm -hmm. you have a good team. Having a team is the key to scale your business because if you don't have good people around you, you know, you alone is, is not going to be able to do much. So I try to associate myself with really really good people. You know, I have a great lender. I have a great inspector. They know what to do. I have a great mm. company. You know, I have a great mortgage officer. Um, I have a great insurance guy. You know, like all of the people that are around me, they are my A team. Okay, they know mm. what to do. You know, just like my contractor. You know, my wife contractor. You know, I get we give them a house. They know exactly what paint color to buy. You know, what kind of material to buy. We have a system in place for that stuff, and we keep building and improving our system. Oh, that's very good. So yeah. keep building, improving systems, hire great people and build a great team. So yeah. I hear this a lot, but, and, um, you know, people who are even 10, 15 years in the business, not willing to let go yeah. to, to build a team and to hire, um, hire help. What mm -hmm. would you say, what, what would your advice be for those people that can't let go? Okay. Well, I, I would say the day that I kind of, you know, like, um, like, how do I say it? The day my business kind of take to the next level is number mm. one. Is that day I hire my transaction coordinator for my uh, for for my production business, and number two, you know, I finally I, I even struggled with this. You know, the day my Airbnb business took off is the day I finally let go of the cleaning task and I hire a cleaner, so I don't have to clean it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So just start with something simple. You know, you don't have to do with you know you you don't have to you know like hire like a bunch of people and, you know, be stressed out, just start with something simple. Okay. How much is your time worth? You know, I, mm. I don't know. I struggle with, you know, I guess I love, you know, cleaning and, and hosting my guests, you know, but I have to let it go because I know it's a low, lower level, um, lower level, lower leverage activity. I need to spend, spend my time, you know, expanding my rep share group, talking with you. I need to do higher level, uh, higher leverage activity. Yeah, I, I have to let go of my cleaning. I have to let go of my of, of my Skylove stuff. So you know, all of that is outsources now. That's great. 
So guys, what I got from that myself is, um, you know, what am I holding on to that I'm doing myself that if I let go, could immediately cat catapult me to the next level. Yep, and, right. and trust me, my um, my cleaner is doing a way better job than me cleaning my Airbnb. My transaction coordinator <laughs> is doing a way better job than me doing paperwork. You know, <laughs> all the stuff I'm bad at, you know, they're doing it better than me. But it's just me that you know I couldn't let it go for like a year, but I can finally let it go. Oh, 100 percent! And congratulations on that. And I could I could see the growth. I could see the growth even from two years ago when we met. You you've been growing so much. One of my mentors, um, I talk about him all the time, Win Louie. <laughs> Yeah, he said to me, and I think this will be helpful for you as well, um, at a high, high level, um, you're not as important as you think you are. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. So once you actually let go and hire somebody to do the job that you're not good at or don't like to do, then all your energy is going towards something that you're inspired to do that you're good at, then you're, you can see your business just doubling. Yeah. Tripling. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's, that's oh, really, really great advice. Yeah. And the goal is not to attach yourself to your business, right? So if you have to show up in order for your business to run, you have a job. You know, if you can go to Taiwan, if you can go, if you can go to Vietnam for a year and your business is still run, that is when you have a business. And that's when your business pay you. If you have oh. to show up and then you just have a job. That's it. Guys, if you are working in your job all the time and when you step away, business goes down, you have a job. As a realtor, um, you have a high paying job. Don't kid yourself. You don't have a business yet yeah. unless you start to leverage at a high level. So that's, that's really, really good advice. Um, so I got from Jack here. I tend to work on too many things. I know that focus on one thing is the way to go. How do you decide on which business to focus on and which one to let go? Great question, Jack. Uh, hmm. Well, so I, um, like, like I told you, um, I have a team um in, in in a day so you know monday production um tuesday is is um a tuesday is strap share so i don't let go of the business per se you know trust me if you let go as a leader if you unglue you know everything is going to unglue so don't don't let go but rather you know like have a system and keep building it on uh, on your business but to your answer your question directly which business to focus on yeah, I, I don't let go any of my business, Jack. I, 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 I glue people together. But in order to focus on one thing, you know, um, I think that you you heard the book, you know, The One Thing by, by Gary Keller already. Mm. So I just ask myself, you know, hey, what is the one thing I do today or this morning or in, in the next 20 minutes? It's going to propel my business to the next level. Ooh, that's yeah. so good. Yeah, so for this What's morning, you know, Jack? right? So for, for this morning, that one thing for me is that, you know, I need to get this freaking permit out to the city of Houston. So that way my, my construction can, you know, move to the next level. You know, before I get, before I talk to you, John, today, I need to get my listing up on the market. So that way, you know, my production can, uh, my, my production business kind of next level. So those key items, you know, I just focus on getting it done. And, um, and yeah, so just um, sometime you, for, for, for like a short period of time for like 20 minutes, you need to put your blinder on, you know, it doesn't matter if your phone blow up, you need to get that one thing done and then you come back. And trust me, nothing is going to blow up, you know, in, in 24 an hour. Exactly. And I hear this, uh, I just read about this, the Pomodoro effect. Y you are likely to be able to do, uh, get a lot of things done in a 25 minute period. If you just focus a yeah. hundred percent for the 25 minutes, yeah. And then if you want to do something else, do something else for five minutes and then you come back for another 25 minutes yeah, you and you are laser, laser focused. Yeah. What we try to do as real estate agents is we multitask. Exactly. Right. And then we get nothing done. So yeah. it's, it's focusing on a very short period, 25 minutes, five minutes break, and then come back and do it. Just like what you talked about, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah. Same thing. And trust me, you know, like even my, 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 my lender, she, she complained at me. Like we, you are the only realtor that I know that don't pick up the phone after seven o'clock. I was like, you know, it's just the way I run my business. You know, it's just the way I time block myself. If, if something is going to blow up after seven, you know, it's not worth it, you know, to work with a client, you know, anyway, mm. you know, I know you get that, but if it's going to blow up just because of that one thing at seven o'clock, it's going to blow up anyway, just let it go and move on, you know, do something else more important. Ooh. That is so good. That is so good, Hui. Jack, did you hear that? 
right? If it's going to blow up, it's going to blow up. Let it go. And you have priorities, you know, after seven o'clock, it's family time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So don't, uh, and in fact, you know, you, you can view it like this, you know, you, you can, you, you can view up, uh, you can view a person, you know, like, Hey, I always working, you know, 24 seven as a hard working person, the way I view it, you know, if you cannot get your shit done from eight to five and then you're not doing your job, that's it. It's, it's as simple as that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I could get your shit done eight to five or better yet. Everybody on this call, whoever's watching, get your shit done eight to five as, yeah. as a realtor. You know, you think you work 12, 14 hour days. You're actually really efficient for about four to five. Really? That's it. Yeah. Right. I'll get my shit done. Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I, I find this uh, next question for myself a mystery. Um, I wake up quite angry really? at 430 um, and I find it hard to smile. How are you always smiling, Hoy? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it like you born with that um no no i don't think so i i get i'm you know i'm, I'm smiling because you know number one i'm talking with you 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 are the most like positive person right now on earth and uh and 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 like i say you know um perhaps like one if if i did one thing right john my entire life i hang out with the right people mm. okay because you know if you show me five of your friend i can tell you exactly who you are mm. yeah so you know if you pick my five friends if you pick my five friends, they just like me. Okay, positive, upbeat, always cheer people up, you know, always help each other, you know, never complain. You know, I, I don't ever let anybody that, that like to complain around me. You know, it's like a killing. It's gonna kill you, it's gonna kill your business. If, if yeah. anybody like to complain, just, you know, I'm sorry to say it, you know, but you gotta find a way to spend less time with them. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. You know what, that's why I wanna hang out with you more because you smile all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and I, think, I think that's the a big part of your success is because you're always so positive and you move through negative things and you just keep growing and you keep smiling through the whole process. And it's very attractive. Yeah. And right? trust me, John, it, it works, especially when you're negotiating like tough deal. Mm. It doesn't matter how the, or the agent on the other side, it, does, it doesn't matter how, how blow up or how angry they are. You just come back with a smile like hey absolutely let me try my best like hey let me get that done you know like all of a sudden you know the guy just gave up you know he cannot be angry at me anymore and you know we get a deal done we close and we talk about exp <laughs> <laughs> you know they, they just can't pass it you know they try to get me angry but you know oh man good luck <laughs> you know guys if you got nothing else from this call you, you know just just put a smile on your face no matter what you're going through right now everybody has a story everybody's going through something just smile through it especially with the other agent who's trying to be uh, um you know uh getting on your case you know what Let, let's just let's just negotiate let's get the deal done how's that sound right yeah, yeah. And, and you you put yourself on on their side you know they always see you as your opponent I always, you know, go around and, you know, ah. be on my side, you know, and hey, let's close the deal together. Is that your problem? Let me see if I can solve it for you. So I solved the problem for them. Dude, you are um, wise, wise, wise beyond your years. You're only 32 years old. I could see nothing but you like blowing up um, in this industry and blowing up in our company. I'm just so happy to see the success so far. Man, um, I've gotten a lot out of today, but do you have... Uh, maybe one or two pieces of advice for newer realtors starting up uh, what they should be doing in this market right now to succeed. One or two advice that I would say for the realtor that they just starting out. Mm, okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think back, you know, like when I started, you know, and when I hit a wall, what happened? Mm. Yeah. Um, so I would say, you know, um, there's a lot of mentor out there. So, um, Probably one of the mistakes that I make, you know, in, in, in the early, I, I look at so many like guru, if you will, and yeah. I probably have a different style. I think you have a coaching program called, well, what is it? My, my Ferry? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you, um, you, do your, uh, you do your My Ferry thing, you know, the other one do Crap Proctor, you know, right. and, um, you know, you get, I guess, Grand, Grand Cardone and you, you get Robert Kiyosaki. There's so many, you know, like people out there for you to follow. So I would say, you know, focus on the one that would, you know, fit you the most and then mm -hmm. just dive really deep into, you know, their material. Uh, so for me, okay. you know, when it comes to sale and negotiation, I follow Grand Cardone. 
you know, I take a lot from his material. When it comes to investing, I follow Robert Kiyosaki and, you know, his, his, his principle, his philosophy, I do everything based on that. So that's why I don't lose track. That's awesome, man. So really, guys, when you're first starting out, follow somebody that really truly speak to you and dive deep on that program. Um, the program works if you do the work. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And, and be authentic, you know, don't, don't try to be anybody else. You know, the, the thing that opened my mind in Cabo, John, is that, you know, we, we have, you know, these so many Asian, you know, they have thousands and thousands of people under their revenue share group. And mm -hmm. everybody have a different try, have, have a different way, different personality. A lot of them is aggressive. You know, they do cold calling, they do all kind of stuff. And a lot of them is laid back just like me. You know, they just, mm -hmm. you know, I guess let the people come into them, if you will. So, so many different styles, different ways to be success. Just stay, just stay authentic to you. Stay authentic to yourself. You know, don't try to be anybody else. And especially, um, um, like I, I think I mentioned that um, already, you know, just stay close to them. Just stay close and pay attention to the people is, you know, that matter to you, okay? Just just ignore all the noise, like all the killing, all the shooting, you know, just block CNN, block CNBC out, out of your, you know, out of your face. Uh, out of your, you know, Chrome, you know, just don't, you know, stop watching the news, just pay attention to the right people. I love that. I love that, man. Thank you so much for all the advice today. How can we reach you, send your referrals or join your team? Uh, well, so I, um, I, I guess, you know, um, for the people at EXP, you know, they can already, um, they can always reach out to me on Workspace. You know, we have a company, uh, Facebook for that. Um, you have my, um, um, you have my Instagram, you have uh, my Facebook, you know, I, I answer on Instagram, I answer on Facebook. And uh, my blog, if you want to check it out, it's just, you know, cash flow, um, uh, cash, cash flow notepad. And I'm going to give cash you the link. Okay. Yeah. okay. But Instagram is the easiest way. Yeah. Sounds great. Sounds great. Hey, um, I got a lot out of today. I learned so much from you. I just want to thank you so much for contributing to our group today and contributing to the Facebook community and so happy for your success. Let's keep killing it. And yeah, make it a great day, guys. Absolutely. Well, wait, wait for me on the top 1%, John. I'm coming. Wait there you me. go. There you go. <laughs> All the best. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay.